Say hello to everyone, Alex. Alex just woke up from a nap not too long ago, like 20 minutes ago. Her great-grandma was here, Gigi. It is beautiful fall here in the Midwest and unseasonably warm. End of October, I mean, really? Verge of November, it should be really cool right now. It's grass, huh? What's going on down there? <laughs> what are you looking at? Anyways, guys, my goodness, it has been a whirlwind on this trip. Um, if you didn't see my live vlog, then, um, I mean, there I explained kind of what was going down, why my daily vlogs went on a mini hiatus for a few days. She had a fever one night and um, just didn't allow for me to edit the 45 minutes of footage I had for that day that I had wrapped up. She got fever that night and I was just behind since. She had a fever the following day. We had to travel, we had to catch an airplane and fly from Michigan to Kansas City while she had a fever, but thankfully, I, I mean, I was expecting her to be just a crying mess and me having to console her the whole time, but she actually, you guys just slept the whole flight, which is crazy. If she was healthy, she wouldn't do that. She just laid on her back in my lap and passed out the whole time. Yeah? Who's that? Hmm? you um so it was it was actually really good um she was just fussy in the airport before and after because she was in uh, uh the body carrier and just juggling around being moved around you know she had a massive headache so she wasn't feeling well and that didn't help but we made it to my dad's in one piece and she got rested up and the next day she was back to normal it was good i mean she was on the up and up feeling much better and here we are two days later and she's uh, all all better. There's that. So I'm sorry that I got a little behind on my vlogs. Uh, then I wasn't able to record because I was hand, um, helping a sick Alex feel better. And then it was just a matter of just getting back on track, guys. So I thank you for your patience. And yeah, I just wanted to shoot a little quick note out here with the sun in my face. Because it's like if I do it, where do I go? Where do I go? My goodness, girl. Ooh, get heavy. Oop! <laughs> My doll. Let's walk around the front. Should we take a walk around outside, out front? Let's go this way. Let's go a long way. Someone's burning something. What is... The mountain shot. Um, this is my dad's chicken coop. And my shadow. Our shadow. What? What? But he made this some time ago. He used to have chickens and then one by one they got killed by like fox. So that wasn't good. This is what the front of the house looks like. Oh, beautiful outside you guys gosh so gorgeous I'm gonna wrap this up just wanted you guys to see a little bit of Alex right Alex Alex <laughs> ah we just headbutted okay so you guys are a little behind on what's been going on around here because like I said so much you know with dealing with Alex and sick Alex and just wanting to make sure that she was taken care of and I was frazzled and just trying to get myself rested and organize and just relax Ugh, man so um I guess just catch you up I wanted to share with you guys my dad's been cooking up a crazy storm since I've been here and right now he just made some what dad chicken soup that's chicken vegetable soup, chicken vegetable soup from scratch from scratch he roasted a turkey sorry turkey. not a turkey a chicken yesterday and we had that super good and then he used the rest of that to boil down some chicken stock which he says is kind of not the usual way to make chicken stock but because he had this chicken leftover he just decided let's make a soup out of the leftovers so yeah it tastes amazing look at this no oh we got baby we got baby Baby, baby. 
I mean, this is ridiculous yum, you guys. Hello. Look at all the goodness. You got some pasta in there. There's some veggies and chicken. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And then he made macaroni and cheese from scratch, which is right here, all the leftovers. The leftovers. And then there we had some broccoli with it, some steamed broccoli and some stuffing, which is left over in here. So freaking yum. And then the night before that, my dad made chili from scratch too. These are the leftovers. Those are some pasta things that he put in there just today that he had left over from the soup and didn't know where else to put it, so he put it in here. Today I had it for lunch with mac and cheese, broccoli, and stuffing all mixed together. It was so good. My goodness, you guys. It was my rendition of a awesome shepherd's pie or something. I don't know. Whatever. Smashed together. Hodgepodge. Love it. My dad is an epic cook up in the kitchen and I'm just trying to get as good as he is. <laughs> so whenever he's cooking, I'm like, okay, how'd you do that? Now, what's going in here? What's going in there? Like, what were you thinking when you did this and why? And what would you think when this? Just like that. That's exactly how I speak to you, right, Dad? Like when I have those questions, I'm like, oh my gosh, what, where, how? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and I'm like, let's eat. All right, guys, that is all for the food section. I just finished a root beer float. And then earlier I had a um, big old piece of cherry pie with a mound of whipped cream on it. Yeah, that's how I roll. Let's go Royals. Casey! Why did you swing at that bro? That batter is big. Catch it, 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 catch it. Boom, that's it. Out song, bye bye. Ooh, I farted. I got the beef farts. That's a big better. Oh, oh, oh. KC at the bat. Let's do this. I'm gonna shut him out. <laughs> Everyone just spitting up a storm. Spitty spit spit. I wonder what the popular chew is with the baseball players, the pro teams. I remember being a little girl at the stadium, watching the Royals, being bored out of my mind. And here they are in the World Series. What? That's so crazy. Kansas City. Oh, I'm really tired. Oh. oh, swing batter. Hello. Quit picking your nose, bro. You're on national television. And the crowd goes wild. Let's go. Oh, we already won. Yay. Woo. Boo. Where are we, Alex? We saying our goodbyes to Grandpa? Hmm? We saying goodbyes to Grandpa? Bye. Bye bye. Bye, Alex. We're here at the Kansas City International Airport. Just waiting. It's my line. Nobody's in it. These guys are walking in my frame. But there's the line. There's nobody in it. That's the regular line. There's everyone's in that. I just get to walk right up. And I have all this baby stuff. But the cool thing about the Kansas City Airport is that it is so small <laughs> that I don't have to worry about toting anything. Usually I have to bat, um, carry the car seat, pull it, like you guys saw in the vlog when I left LA. And then I have to put it in this bag at the gate, in the jetway or wherever, uh, while I'm holding Alex. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but since it's so close, I can just do it right here and just pull it up. Be like, here, take it, it's awesome. And yeah, we have some help at this airport, don't we? Yeah, Grandpa's a good helper. All right, well, we're saying our bye-byes. And this is it, back home, back to LA. This little nugget, making friends.
backside for you. Wait, don't move, I'm still cleaning it. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs>